There's no endings for a guy like me. High profile guy. Dead or in a game. They redefined family television. As HBO's long-running dramatic series, The Sopranos, premieres its final episode starting this Sunday night, it marks the beginning of the end of an era in primetime. <laughs> Almost as soon as The Sopranos debuted in 1999, the show became a hit with both critics and fans, earning Emmy nominations for Outstanding Dramatic Series and generating previously unheard of ratings for HBO. <laughs> Series creator David Chase says the success of The Sopranos has more than exceeded his expectations. Our goal to be that we would do a show where people couldn't guess what was going to happen next, where you wouldn't be ahead of the plot because you'd seen it 50 times. And I, and I hoped uh, that it turned out that way. Eight years, dozens of awards, and nearly 80 episodes later, the show's cast recently gathered in New York to celebrate and say goodbye. Edie Falco, who plays Tony Soprano's long-suffering wife, Carmela, says working on the series was an experience unlike any other. This is really hard. I, um, I've never had a job for 10 years before, any job, and I had grown very attached to these people. Yeah, set a plate. For viewers, The Sopranos became appointment television, a Sunday night tradition. I think one of the things is when people say, wow, you know, we all get together with our family and watch it or our friends. And in that way of bringing people together to watch the show, it brings like family together. The Sopranos also brought new attention to HBO, which in turn allowed the network to develop other successful original series, including Sex and the City and Deadwood. You know, I really, I, I really hope in my heart and believe in my heart that we've raised the bar. I think, um, people have become more willing to take risks with programming. Craig Tomashoff, TV Guy's resident expert on all things Sopranos, agrees. The Sopranos didn't shy away from language or subject matter, or any of that, and it just made it a little freer, I think, for all of TV to, to be a little bolder. There ain't no medals on my chest, because I ain't no hero. I'm a fireman. Rescue Me is like the perfect example, I think, of uh, the Sopranos legacy. They only have to do 13 episodes in a year. They can really push the boundaries of topics and language and, uh, and get more attention. What? I'll give you a what? Come here. And while fans will certainly be paying attention to the way things end for The Sopranos, for creator David Chase, it remains an unfinished symphony. And we're still shooting the last one, and we've yet uh, to edit three or four or five of them, so I can't really say that I'm completely satisfied because it's still a work in progress. Sibila Vargas, CNN, Hollywood.